Well, good evening. It's ten o'clock. Thursday, September. Let's bring all that is and has been before the Lord this night. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so we reflect on the things of this day, especially the difficult things, and we bring them before the Lord our God. And we say, Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. <clears throat> Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Therefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 5 verses 8 and 9 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him strong in the faith. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Father God, for all this day has contained, we give you thanks. For the bumps in the road, for the smooth paths, for the smooth water and the choppy, for the stormy and the calm, for the bright and the dull. Lord, whatever this day has contained, whatever it has been, we give you thanks for blessings given and received. We give you thanks that though we may have failed in ways this day, your hand, your blessing and your healing are upon us. And as we thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness, for your renewal every morning of your love, we pray for those this day we may have wounded, asking your forgiveness. And as we do, we forgive those who have wounded us. Father God, we pray that we would be a generous, kind and warm people. That those we meet, though they may wish us harm, may, though they may think ill of us, Father, we know that there's nothing that separates us from your love. Nothing we have been, nothing we have seen, nothing we've done, and nothing anyone has done to us. Neither height, nor depth, nor power, nor principality, nothing in all creation ever separates us from your love. And we pray that those we know who do not know that as a reality this night may come to understand your kindness your love and your mercy. And we pray for those on our hearts and minds. We pray, Father God, for Katie and her family as we and they stand with Ignatius, for Richard and Amanda as they stand with their family, for Josh and Bill Eden, for Harry and for Damien, for Marianne and her various health issues at this time, for our grandchild Caleb who is having his first cold and Leah is learning the joys of motherhood in a new way. Father God we pray for Andy Bradshaw and for his wife Claire and the whole family as they stand with him and sought the paths for Ruth his mum almost a hundred years old, and where and what is before her. We pray for those we know who have been labelled with the errors that are to be found in dementia. For no one has dementia, but those who have been given that label have challenges, have things that can be confusing and destabilising. But Lord, may their feet be on the rock, and may your light and life be on them and those who care for them in their families 
and in other places. And Lord, we pray for the families, for the friends, for Tracy and Tim, for their marriage and for Tim's work, and that he would have easier paths. For Margaret and John, giving thanks for her clear bill of health from her cancer. For Graham and Gillian, a man who, with his wife by his side, is still waiting for a transplant. For the Mitchell family and for the Cottrells. For the Holmes family and for the Bennett family. And for the Wildmans and the wider family besides. For the Hattons, thinking especially of Jane and for the Palin family for the Gibbard family and for the Sanfords, for Philip Hope and for Pat Watmore and his family, for Jill Williams and for the Popovs in Ukraine and Gillian Meller, for Luke, Steve Kingston and June Hawley, praying that you would touch them in body, mind and spirit and you would bring to some good ending June's housing needs. For Joe Johnson, for Elaine Turvey and for her family, for Linda and Alan Fox, for Charles and as we wait for his next appointment for the ophthalmic people, we pray for him and his health, for Norma and for Kate, for Maureen and her family, praying for Colin who three weeks tomorrow will see the consultant, for Beryl Whitehead and for Val, for Sylvia and Ray, for Sheila and Karen, for Norman, for Beryl Davis, for Joan and Alan Dewhurst, for Esteline Rod, for Molly Jones and daughter Heather and the whole family, for Enid Gault, for Barbara and Terry, for Derek Jones, for Stan Parry, for John Hambridge, for Angela and the directions her life is, will take as she begins to study and we pray for Buster, her companion. We pray also for Jane, who had a hospital admission at the beginning of week and now is having tests, I, I believe. May the tests show what is needed and may they be less worrying than often we fear. And Father God, we pray this night for those who mourn, thinking of the national period of mourning for our Queen, the morning that is so public and yet so poignant from the royal family for olive and for mo and for wendy hilton and for all who have lost loved ones for terry and the community that is leafield and to this we add the names of the people on our own hearts and minds let us bring before the lord those we know with need Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So with the words our Saviour gave us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Holy God, who brought Cyprian to faith in Christ, made him a bishop in the church, and crowned his witness with a martyr's death. Grant that, after his example, we may love the church and her teaching. Find your forgiveness within her fellowship, and so come to share the heavenly banquet you have prepared for us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. 
Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for being with us this evening, guys. Have a good night's sleep. May you wake refreshed, and may those for whom you pray know the presence, the peace, and the healing of God. Good night, guys. Bless you. Catch you soon. Thanks for being with us.